This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. The default features inside of your charts may not give you exactly what you want. So let's look at two features. You need to know how to move things around and how to resize objects within the chart. So I have a sample here that has just a pie chart. And one of the things that I want to move is the legend. So remember, select what you want to affect. So you click anywhere on the chart in order to select the chart. And now I want to work inside the legend. So I'm going to go anywhere in the legend and click. And now the entire legend is selected. So to move things around, you need a mouse that has a four-headed arrow. There I have one there. Anywhere on the object that you want to move that you get a four-headed arrow, all you have to do is click, hold, don't let go, and drag it to wherever you want to place it. So at any time, you can move things to where you'd like them to go. Now I want to show you the two-headed arrow here, but it won't resize anything. It'll just kind of spread things out on this legend. But on any of these sizing handles, you rest your mouse on any sizing handle, you're going to get a two-headed arrow. Now the two-headed arrows might be fluffy looking. They might be little thin black arrows. It doesn't matter as long as it's a two-headed arrow. Then you just click, you drag, and you can resize. Well, let's look at how you do that with a pie, though because the pie is a little bit different because it's a circle. And so what you have to know is where are the corners of the circle. So if you click on the pie, what you'll notice is you simply get little sizing handles, but they're on the circle and they don't resize. Look, if you try to get a two-headed arrow, you can't even get a two-headed arrow because these are simply telling you where the dividers are. So what you have to do to resize a circle is you have to actually find the square. So if you can, envision a square around this circle. And where you'll find it is across the top here. I'm just going to draw an imaginary line with my mouse. Right in this area here, there's actually a square. So anywhere in that area, it's called the plot area, if you click, you'll actually get the square around the circle. Gosh, does that make sense? You're looking for the square around the circle. But you see, now you have two-headed arrows, so now I can click and I can drag and I can resize. I've made it a little too large there. The word totals is in the way. But you can see how I can click and drag and I can resize my chart to make my pie larger than it currently is. Well, what happens though if I click on the pie? So now I've clicked on the pie pieces and watch what happens when I grab and I try to move just a pie piece. There's my four-headed arrow and I'll click and hold and not let go and it makes a really funny shape there but when you let go, what it actually has done is it pulls out just the one section of the pie. And people do that on pie charts if they want to emphasize one element inside of the chart. So let's just review. Anytime you want to move something in your chart or on your chart or even the whole chart, you look for that four-headed arrow, you click and drag and don't let go until it's wherever you want it to be. And if you want to resize something on your chart, just look for the two-headed arrow and two-headed arrows allow you to resize objects to the size that you'd like. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.